Tag uses webhooks in order to send relevant event information to applications. For example, in this case, I have set a rate limit for a user, and if that user hits five times a request in less than 10 seconds, an event is gonna be triggered. So if I click five times, I'm gonna see how an event pops up on the webhook endpoint. Here, the event is going to be named rate limiting exceeds, and I need to know who exactly is reaching that limit with the key of the user. So let's go to the dashboard and see how it's done. Here, we're going to have different options. The first thing that I'm going to check is the keys. We mentioned that our users have rate limiting. So if I go to Carlos rate limit, which is the key that I was using in order to access to HTTP being API, I can actually set rate limiting. Right here, we have five requests per 10 seconds. Then we have the webhooks endpoint. In here, if I wanna create a new webhook endpoint, I can click on ads. I'm gonna call, call here uh, webhook testing, for example. Request method is gonna be post, and then I need a target. The target is gonna be this one that we have and we're using before. So here I just need to paste that target and I'm going to save it. Of course, we would like those webhooks uh, events to be sent to or to be sent if the rate limiter are uh, exceed in this API. So if I click on this API and go to the advanced options in here, I'm going to have what we call webhooks. And I'm going to be able to select an API event. We were talking about rate limiting, but there's all the things that you can select. So for now, let's hit rate limiting. And then the web hot testing that we just created. And I'm going to click add. And I'm going to update it. Now, if I go back to my testing in Postman, I'm going to click send. Of course, I can access right now. If I click send five more times, I'm going to be hitting the rate limit. And we're going to be hitting and getting this event that we mentioned before. Thank you for watching and bye.